Most of you might know that I'm not the biggest advocate of a plant-based diet. I think that meat should be the staple of your diet for long-term wilderness living type scenarios. What I do think though is plants are very valuable for providing us resources that meat may not give us. White pine has a very high amount of vitamin C. So making a tea out of white pine is gonna give us a good jolt of vitamin C. How do we identify white pine? First of all, we're looking for these long slender needles. And then if you look closely at these clusters, each cluster is going to have five needles coming off of it. So we have a five needle cluster of long slender needles. What we're gonna do next is pick a lot of these needles off of this tree. We just want to get a good handful of them. And once we get a good handful of them, we're going to take them back to camp and talk about how we actually make a tea to get that vitamin C out of these needles. The preparation for pine needle tea is very simple. What I like to do is take these little ends that came right off the branch. I think that they give it a little bit more of a turpentine taste. I'll cut them right free and I just get rid of them. There's a couple on this side, but that isn't gonna hurt anything. I get the majority of them out of there. Now I'll just cut up these pine needles because we're just creating more surface area that way to extract more of the essential oils that we're looking for. So give it a couple, few cuts. And then what I'm going to do is take this and just put this inside my cup and begin to boil some water. At this point I have boiled some water because of course I want to purify that water and then I'm going to add the hot water into my cup that I'm going to steep the tea. Now what I'll do is take a second cup or some kind of lid and place it over the initial cup that I put the hot water into. A couple things. I don't like to boil the needles in the water because it seems to extract um, a taste that is more turpentine, pine tar uh, type of taste compared to just steeping the tea. So hot water and needles will begin to extract those oils and get that vitamin C out of the needles. And I cover it because we're going to get some condensation and some evaporation off of that hot water. And if you do this with a stainless steel lid, you can really see it. When you look at that evaporative water, the stuff that's up on the lid, the condensation, you can see there's an oil to it. So we don't want to lose any of that oil if we don't have to. I mean, if you do, you do, but if you can maintain it, do that. So I'll put a second cup or something over the cup with my needles, and then I will just turn this upside down and sort of strain it out. That way I'm not trying to drink around needles, but um, this is the, I guess, more refined way of doing it. You could just put the hot water in, let it sit for a while, and then um, drink away. So I'm just going through some extra steps, but this is what you want to do to begin to extract um, the essential parts out of that pine. I allowed about five minutes of this tea to steep, so let's take off the top cup. You can see that condensation inside that cup. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strain this out. If you have some type of strainer, it works really good. You can always just drink this water or tea at this point. What I'm gonna do is just keep my knife there just to keep some of the needles out. And there we go, we have ourselves a cup of pine needle tea. Good, it tastes good. Some people say it's an acquired taste. If you like gin, then you're gonna love this. But this is what I always tell individuals. A small cup of this, you're getting a great amount of vitamin C out of. So we're not eating and fueling ourselves with pleasure here. We are fueling ourselves to survive out here. So one or two cups of this a day is gonna help you out. If you don't like the taste of it, let it cool down, chug it down. If you can't get through that amount of water, you maybe pick another hobby or something like that. So uh, you can always flavor this with other things. In the summertime, you can throw some berries or something like that in. If you have mint available, put some mint in there. Ton of different ways to do this. If you have a tea bag, throw a tea bag in there. All different things you can do, just use your imagination. But this is the main premise of pine needle tea and how to get that vitamin C out of the pine tree. So this was Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods, guys.